Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to this webinar. This is Henry. Firstly, thanks for uh, thanks uh, the organization, the group pack for giving this opportunity to share with you something. <clears throat> um, for this for this part, I well, would like to introduce uh, uh, some brief introduction and information about uh, our company. And our uh, speech will be divided into three parts. That will be the company introduction, the patch packing light system, and uh, the body fitting light system. Yes, we are a manufacturer located in the Shanghai. We are 80 years of manufacturer experience and 16 years of export experience to more than uh, 70 countries and uh, 30 years going to supply for Alibaba. And uh, what we can do for you for uh, decade years of manufacturing experience, we can provide you a complete fitting line from the um, turning table, washing machine, filling machine, until the carton system, the robotic palletizer. That we also have the pouch packing line system since uh, 2000, 2009. Uh, we can do the four. A uh, forming type machine from the form, fill, seal, the door pack, and uh, the flat back packing machine. After the packing part, we also can do solutions such as uh, a weight taker, mate detector, and even the final the carding system, the robotic palletizer. This is all the service we can provide for you. In years of experience, we applied the CT certificate that can make us available to export to Europe. We have uh, lots of the users in Europe, including the Poland, France, Spain, Serbia. Let's prove our the machine's quality. <clears throat> also, we have the ISO certificate. This is some pictures we attended uh, over years on exhibition. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> Firstly, please allow me to introduce the first part of, about our machine series, the fitting machine. Um, we have a basic idea that we do the machine according to uh, uh, material power to, like we normally do the fitting machines for the food, for the oil, for the uh, from the city product and for the chemical product, as you know that the material has different characteristics like the food, it has uh, the powder, it has a block, it has um, the granule, it has some liquid. Also, we, according to the characteristics, we make special design of these characteristics. Um, for example, we do start as uh, uh, liquid filling machine. <clears throat> um, for let's start with the oil. For oil, it's uh, the common food we can see in our daily life. Um, <clears throat> there is one problem about the uh, oil that we cannot avoid. It about the uh, dripping problem after every time filling, uh, especially. Uh, your machine knows it goes up, it will have produced other problem, it will start to dripping. So to solve this problem, we make a special design of the suction back of turn. Every time after filling, we can use uh, suction to uh, make to the drip oil suck a little bit back. That's, that's, in this way, we can uh, make this problem so from this point, we make a special design of our nozzles that um, <clears throat> we can share with some de details in the video later. And for second part, uh, in the detergent filling line. Also, detergent detergent filling line, by our experience, is hard liquid like the dairy is because Therefore, detergent uh, liquid is easy to produce the bubble and the foaming. That's the uh, biggest point that the most uh, users are concerned about. Because uh, every time you have to fill in, it produces bubbles and it's hard to eliminate the bubbles away. So about this problem, we have a special design for the bubble that will make a long nozzle 
and when feeling, we make the loss goes down and make the diving like the pivot goes down in the liquid. But this way, when the when the machine filling, the liquid level goes up and the nozzle goes up. But this way, we can um, dramatically reduce the the, the bubble pro the <clears throat> reduce the bubble. Um, yeah, we also can share with you some of the cases we do in the later show. And uh, another part we have to speak individual, um, separately is about the oil. For this part, we also show you some experience about the lubricant oil. For this part, we have a lot of uh, users in the special like area, Middle East, we have lots of the user every year. Because like we mentioned before, we, our machine can solve the problem of uh, dripping problem like the dripping and uh, most of the decisions we sold to this area was praised by the customer. Uh, that's because why we uh, get so many orders because we improve our machine every year. Oh, except uh, the liquid product, the oil product, I'd like to share some of the experience and uh, about uh, the sauce filling yeah sauce is um, a very common uh, food in our daily product like the um, apple paste the blueberry the peanut sauce and the chili sauce especially the sort of like the chili sauce uh, in the asian market especially thailand the people they love it and but here the problem when we fill the chili, yeah, you know when the chili is not a, a simple liquid inside, it is a particle. There's a uh, there's a paper seed and there's a paper skin. It's a mix of tickets so that's make a lot a big difficulty to fill into the bottles or into some other objects. That's why yes, yeah, so for this part we have to make some special design for the valve. Because the valve make it available to go through for the big particles also, and um, for the big particles, we you know before filling, we also uh, have to um, have to mention about uh, the pre-filling. Because before filling, the chili sauce has to be restored in the tax before filling, and before that, we have to keep the temperature. Uh, high temperature if i feel like the over uh, 80 to 90 percent uh, 80 to 90 um, celsius temperature i have to make this so we special design the such a tank and uh, keep the temperature same so if so by such a design we can 100 percent sure that our, uh, the filling product will be same after uh, before filling machine and after filling machine. And uh, we also have the lot of users of the uh, of the, the past filling machine area market. And after introducing about the filling machine, I'd like to share with some of the videos about uh, filling machine. This video. We will know more details about our machines. Yeah, after seeing the video of the filling machine, you may have the best idea about the filling part. Let's go on to the next part is the cutting machine. 
Yeah, if you have the work experience in your daily life, you may probably have the basic idea about the caps types. Maybe you, if you ever meet as a, a scoop type, you must see the uh, metal cap and uh, some other other type. So for this part, we'll especially show you a different type of cap and especially a different uh, cap in way by different machines. <clears throat> It is a school cap. It's a common, um, uh, it's a common cap type we normally see in our daily life. So that's the easy. That's the easiest way we can finish by the machine. The screw way. Yes, when the uh, when 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 cap on the bottle, the machine will screw the drawing by different wheels, the screw and make the tighten on the top of the bottle. That's the principle of this machine. That is the easiest way. And for the press capping, yeah, you can see it from the name that's press. That's the principle when machine put the cap on the top of the bottle and the machine press it down and finish the uh, capping part. And for, <clears throat> for especially for this one, we call it a vacuum cap. It's uh, it's a light to the screw and the press is a different wave cap. And um, because the machine is to um, make, put to the metal cap at the top of the bottle and uh, uh, screw for direction and uh, by another direction. And the final, final that make a vacuum works. Because by a vacuum, you can extend your shelf life. That's uh, a common way by the users adopt, uh, in, especially like the uh, truly product like the paste product, they normally use this way. And for next part, <clears throat> um, for our laundry product, it's we call it uh, the pump cam. Pump cam pump is more like the pump because every time you use your product, you have to press it down. The product that goes from the nose out to uh, and out goes out, and you can use like the uh, shampoo like um the the the, uh, the same type of liquid but this way the in a way and how how do we screw it so, uh, we can show the screw uh, cap because except there's a, a outer nozzle the rest of the part is completely a uh, screw way. So when we suggest, because this way we suggest an uh, economical way, we suggest put your pump cap or the bolt and then screw it by with the capping machine. That's the way we uh, recommend for all of the, our uh, users. Also, this, all, this suggestion is also uh, ado adopted by may, most of our users. And the last one about uh, um, but the special camp is especially for uh, some wine, for some uh, olive oil, for some some special product that's different to the capital way. Yeah, <clears throat> you can see this picture. It's the cap picture structure. The structure of the cap is different from others. I'll also show you some of the video about this part in the uh, later video. Okay, let's get back to 
hours uh, topic. Uh, let's go look at, and check the label machine. <clears throat> We that's our advantage of this part because we start the business from the label machine. We have a big advantage on the machines. We have many different design. That's uh, these types, all these small parts of our machine series. That is a standard machine. But most, uh, but for most users, they don't like standard because the product they all they always change your product style. So I have to adjust our design and make it special. Um, uh, machine structure to meet their requirement. <clears throat> so, like this picture, for the uh, first one is a round bolt, it's the easiest way. Finish bodies are where the round bolt label machine. This is for the square or flat bolt, and this for is the, the slim shrink. It's like sleeve, and it goes down and wrap the whole bolt of, the, of this plus. Uh, the, uh, the, the P bolt, and then goes into the steam tunnel and it goes shrink. That's the basic uh, work steps. And uh, this for the, uh, the cold glue. It's not uh, the hard glue, it's cold glue. It's um, uh, adopted by um, mm. most of uh, the small factories. They love this type. And for this um, <clears throat> horizontal level machine, for this part is a product that cannot stand well it's because it's too thin and too long. And it cannot stand it well. So we suggest this one. And for this one, <clears throat> it's a small kind of label machine. The machine can finish the label on the uh, corner of the whole cotton. And also can put the double label on the opposite direction on cartons. Yeah, that's all the small part of the double machine series. I'd like to share with you some machine videos and uh, you can see more details. Yes, sure. For some customers, after the filling, copying, labeling, you can see the next what the next step. Because yes, exactly, you can see the answer is put your product in a carton. Yeah, for this part, you would have a problem. How can we do to finish this part? Yes, we have the basic idea because we have a, a form the carton. We need a machine to open this carton, but uh, make it ready and uh, seal the bottom and uh, put the product inside and uh, fold the top part and uh, seal by the tape. That's what we finish. That's, uh, by this way, we can finish the, the system. Yes. But you can, yeah, here's a look at these machines is a different machines. That's why we, we would have these different machines. Another way, uh, the first word is about uh, your carton type because your carton type is different. To, we would uh, have more options for you. It is a small, a big, if it's a tip by seal or sealed by glue. I think that was about uh, your product because Put your product inside of the carton is a hard process of machine. If you were the pilot's light, we can make uh, like a mechanical hand, a sack, and put it inside. If your product is a small carton or glass jars, that's a different uh, part so we can recommend for you. We have rich experience in this part. Okay, check this picture. This is a carton erector, which can be used to open the uh, from the carton. This is for the um, this is for the case packer. It can uh, suck the glass jars up and put the product inside of the carton. And here is uh, uh, now you can see this part. It's uh, uh, coordinate. Uh, uh, it's a coordinate that can put to your product in another carton. Here's a sealer. Okay, is it a spider? Yeah, so this part we have uh, mm -hmm. have a long conversation to speak about on the sp spider because uh, we saw the mission for for industrial 4.2 industrial. The is basically for some customer who has a big factory. They requ require that their product needs uh, a QR code or barcode after printing. 
the whole system have to check the QR code and the barcode and the feedback to the PLC signal. So the spider can pick up the, the finished product by different position. Because after, for example, if your product is a bag, after the packing machine, after the checker, it goes out from the last step, but its direction is different. Uh, maybe left or maybe right, but it's different. After the camera inspecting, the system will feed back to real position the back to the spider. Spider one will uh, pick up the and uh, we know the correct position of this bag when finally get to the position under the spider, it will pick up by the correct direction. Yeah, that's uh, uh, intelligence of our system we can provide for you. And the, and the rest uh, part is about uh, the different packer for dropping, for uh, pushing away, for the small carton. That's all the carton machines we can provide for you. So uh, years development make us um, confident that we can provide more options for you. <clears throat> the next step, I will show you our biggest case that we ever made in domestic business. I'd like to share your video.
for the second for the second section of the our product, I'd like to share with some the idea of packaging. So mostly when we talk about the packaging, we have the basic idea about is that we uh, have the packing material is a plastic, the film or foil. We wrapped our product by or by a certain type and by different shape or different structure of this bag wrapped our product inside. Okay, that's the packaging. The packaging can attract our uh, attract more attention from the consumers. So about this part, we basically have two types of machine for you. One is uh, uh, from field, from film forming machine that uh, this machine can produce a bag and then fill in the product inside and the sales, uh, the sales uh, product. A second one is the pre-made bag machine. That is you purchase your bag from your bag supplier and to put your bag samples on the machine and the machine would pick up the bag open and fill inside and the seal, seal, seal the top finally. Uh, that's uh, mainly common way of the uh, of the packaging. <clears throat> yes, and for the packaging, we can provide you two options, uh, both uh, two options of the film forming and the primitive back. <clears throat> so, yeah, before the hours, I'm sure let's let's um, talk about uh, some of the common sense of. Uh, filling, uh, filling material. Yes, that's a common different uh, uh, the form of material, the liquid, the salts, the pound, the granny and the block. Uh, you can see the common in our daily life, the, the liquid. Uh, yes, we can do this by using the, the, a certain the filling system like the pound. Also, salts, the pound we use uh, auger filler, and the granny we use a wear, different wear. So, for the finishes, we're confident to finish this problem. Yeah, let's, let's go back over the packaging machine. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the iron work machine is driven by the solar motors and the very stable performance and they can produce different shape by changing different modes. It can produce a shape like, a shape like this one. It also can uh, change it a different way when you spend the uh, uh, some some time to change a mode. After that, you can get a different shape of doll pack. It also has option 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 of uh, to put a spout in the corner or in the middle position. And uh, by this uh, um, by this function, and uh, the the user, the machine user, which feels uh, like the tomato sauce, feel like the chocolate cream, feel like the laundry liquid. That's uh, that's the uh, type most uh, most uh, customer would use this machine. And for this part, this machine can <clears throat> produce a pouch with zipper. Yes, you hear me right. This machine can produce a pouch with zipper. And here we go. Before the machine, we got uh, a film roll and a zipper roll. The machine can add the zipper on the top of this pouch and the seal the zipper first and, and then uh, side the ceiling and the bottom ceiling open a pouch and fill your, your like the granules or uh, some other product inside and uh, stretch back the top side and the uh, ceiling finally. That's what we can provide to the service for customer. And also for some uh, flat pouch, the flat pouch that means uh, has no bottom. That's when you put a flat um, on the flat surface, it can lay down the surface. And then for this part, it's <clears throat> for a different uh, uh, product. Same as the last, uh, last part we talk about the material, it's the same filling system, the same issue. And for this section, we customize a machine called the quadruple packing machine. It can produce a sachet and three or four sachets of the sales, and it can do different, like the hand and hole up there. Also, it can do the anterior notch 
And for this quadruple machine, it can produce the 200 pack per minute at a very fast speed. If you, you're a customer like, to, uh, if you like a mastic sachet, you have a big quantity of production capacity, you need this machine. We have your experience on mastic product. I will also share, the later, uh, share a, a video later about this machine. <clears throat> <clears throat> also, please allow me to give it about our with a pre-made packer. Pre-made pack, as we mentioned in the previous part, pre-made, that you already got the, the bag from the bag supplier, put the bags on the uh, stacking device, which will pick up and open things inside. And this machine, the advantage of the pre-made packer is that you had to, you can change your, the bag style awfully. Yeah, for some, you know, your, your bag style have to follow up the market needs, especially domestic market. They, they, they like different style, the different, this different shape or patterns can attract consumers eyes and uh, inspire them to, to buy it. So if you have a lot of the different shape, you need this primitive pack. We also can do the single uh, single outlet. That means single outlet means one move of this machine. Outlet of one pouch. Duplex mat means uh, three three finished uh, pouch outlet, and uh, we can do the quadruple more faster. That depends on the customer's need. Also, except. Uh, <clears throat> The horizontal packing machine, we have more options for you about so the vertical packer. You can feel the pounder, feel the paste, uh, and uh, uh, it, it paste the pounder and the, for some other the particle product. Here's a two different way. This hour is another type of the vertical packer it can produce um, higher speed. It can produce uh, um, Four, three, and four side seal the sachet. Also, on, especially for this machine, it's a universal type for both of uh, three and four. By adjusting, you can change the selling time from four side seal to three side seal. It's easy to adjust and, and it can help you to save the cost. Uh, yeah, maybe the other machine have to spend a few hours on adjusting the former device. On this machine, you don't have to do that, just uh, adjust the wheel. A few minutes done. Yeah, we always improve our machine design that can make our machine available to work more efficiently. Last step, let's about we'd like to share with our plan of different factories. Yes. <clears throat> we got the three plants in the in China. One is in the Chengdu far away from the uh, Shanghai, about two thousand kilometers away. It's, on this on this factory, it focuses on the vertical packer. Um, we get a vertical packer. It can pack. It's especially like the product, the chili sauce. It's of the advantage of this machine on the Shanghai. We have two plants. One is our head office, our old factory. We can provide our the machine here. And our the new factory. We uh, guess our business uh, expand. The other time, we have to need a bigger place to put more machines and show more details of a machine. This hour is a future plan. Maybe that on this in this year, in the last like November or December, we would like to move to the new factory. <clears throat> That's the whole the situation and the details about the machine and about the future plan. And. <clears throat> By the current uh, development of the com by our company, we, um, our, co uh, our company Great Pack is uh, having a step development, uh, whatever in terms of our so my business, the packing machine, and more the options of other machines. All can prove that we are good at our so mechanical and uh, our. So our the side scene plan for the market adjusting. So like ours, uh, um, 
Corvada, we can always think more further. This is our idea. We can, uh, before our business, we can provide more than customers think.